I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a McGrath start. This is my little brother's bike. It's a 65, obviously way too small for me because I weigh almost 200 pounds. And yeah, okay. Um, I had a request from, forget your name, sorry, on there about how to do McGrath start. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on this bike what's going on. Okay. A lot of people you'll see do the starts. They're in the gear. They're on the gate like this. And then the gate drops, and they go. Well, what a McGrath start is, the bike's in gear, so first, second gear start, depends on what you're doing. You have an 85, I recommend a second gear start on that. You want to keep this foot between the foot peg and the shifter, okay? You want to keep it between, and this side, you want to keep a little bit on this side, if you want to come over here and show them. This foot, you want to be somewhere about right here. You don't want to be in between on this one. You want to be somewhere over here. And the reason for this start is you can be, and I'm too big for this bike, but you can be more on the front of the bike. And you want your elbows up. You want to be over, over your plate. So you want to be on the front of the bike so you can, you know, when you let it clutch, clutch, you don't want to be back and pop wheelie. You want a good start. You want to be over the bike. This allows you to be more over the bike than you would like this. When you're up like this and you take off, you're going to get off a little bit of balance. It's going to be a little sketchy. Some people prefer it. I prefer McGrath start with your feet are between. You're up over. The gate drops. You're going to let out the clutch, obviously. And as you're coming out, getting ready to shift, all you do is you slide your foot up. And when you slide your foot up, it's already in gear. So it's that simple. It's when you're in gear, like I am right now, and the gate drops, boom, we let it out. The foot comes up, it's already shifted. Now you're in your second gear start. You're already in third, and you didn't have to go. You know, you're at the start, whatever. You're in gear, you take off, you have your foot up here, boom, you're going, shift, like that. You know, because the bike's going to get a little sketched out on you. So when you're up like this, you have more control, you're, you're more back. Okay, our camera, sh we, our camera shut off, so I don't remember exactly where we were at. But, no, like I was saying, just remember this foot in between. It's real simple. You're already in gear, the gate drops, the foot comes up, shifts. Good to go. Keeps the bike a little bit more balanced. You can be more on the front of the bike. Can't do this on my bike because I just sold my bike. So I'm doing it on this. And there's a million other things that you have to learn. And if you guys need some more tips, whatever, I've been racing for like 16 years. I can help you guys out. But I'm going to do a couple demos outside. So give you guys kind of idea what's going on. And the bike's going to lag out a little bit for a high elevation. Bike's not correctly jetted. I'm big, a little bike, so we'll see what happens.